Hey, we are uh, here backstage, literally, the stage right there, at Lollapalooza 2019 with the great people from Shade, who apparently uh, did not get enough shade, and I know that's ridiculous, except I hear, Chelsea, that you had some kind of a heat stroke situation I, I after you guys got a, on stage. I almost had a heat death on stage, but yes, okay. I'm, I'm better now. I assume that you're being a little bit, I mean, are you exaggerating or are you actually serious? Oh, no, truly, I will, I, the costume that I was... It really was a costume. The outfit that I was wearing on stage, I was wearing like a latex thing underneath a lot of feathers and I look like Big Bird, but in the most amazing <laughs> outfit ever. <laughs> but the sun beating right down on us for 45 minutes. I almost did projectile vomit on everybody. Okay. But I am good now. She powered through. I have through. water. Perfect. And yes. You're ready to roll. Okay, perfect. You guys okay? Okay. We're good. Everybody's good. Now, we, we do have a little fan blowing on us now. But this in case, is nice. If Chelsea needs to take a break, we're going to let her take whatever <laughs> kind of break she needs. We don't want any fainting or any projectile vomiting, ex uh, uh, especially here at backstage at Lollapalooza, right? Uh, so you guys are here at Lala, And uh, interestingly, you uh, asked me what my whip is earlier. And uh, that's my name, Whip. But also, uh, when I hear that, uh, I only know of one other thing that's like a whip, which is uh, a baseball thing for a pitcher, which I knew that's not what you meant. But what did you mean when you asked me what my whip was? And am I stupid for not knowing this? Yeah, I, 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 think, I think most of us would agree that it's sort of a common term, is that the whip is the kind of the vehicle that you drive, the, you know, what, your, what vehicle you're rocking. At least on the East Coast, that's what we call it. Yeah, yeah what's I, your whip? Nice whip. Like, what's your whip? Yeah. Yeah. No, somehow I totally have missed that, so I'm going to go with it's I'm just not very cool or smart thing, but maybe <laughs> it's just an East Coast thing, which is totally possible. So you guys are from D.C., uh, yes. and when you go to the nation's capital mm -hmm. and the, you know, the National Mall and all the monuments and things like that, does that feel like your hometown, or is that almost just like the way that the rest of us see that? I think it's probably more like the way of the, you yeah. know how everybody sees it, yeah. If we could go to museums every day, we would. Um, but definitely, you know, we live right outside of D.C., so going into D.C. always feels so special to us and, and so cool, and we always do fun things there, so, yeah. Also, you know, that's kind of like where we really grew up playing in D.C., sort of working our way up the clubs there. You know, Max and I in a different project, and Chelsea in her own project, but I think when I think of D.C. too, a lot of it's like the venues that we really built like a, a strong like fan base in our hometown with, yeah. Uh, what is it does DC right now have sort of a signature music that you would say is like a DC sound or is it a little bit of everything or what? I'd say it's honestly pretty eclectic um, There's like a lot of different things. There's a lot of like uh, soulful R&B happening right now uh, You have like artists like gold link that are crushing it from like the DMV um, so DMV stands for DC, Maryland, Virginia. So he, oh, right. he, you know, a lot of artists are kind of claiming, and you know that that whole, um, you know, area. Uh, but uh, what, what would you say? It's cool. What's cool is that everybody supports. It sounds cheesy, but there's you'll go to a show and you'll see like a experimental rock band playing with like a soulful R and B band. But it, it for whatever reason, it just works. So. Uh, I know that the worst question in the history of band interviews is always about the name. And so oh, I'm not wow. going to say, how did you get the name? Not even close to anything like that. Okay. But since it is the word shade, which is a regular word, and it's spelled differently, yes. uh, how many times, let's say out of 100, does someone not know how to pronounce it? <laughs> Five billion bajillion. Five million bajillion. If, if I could make a... Um, uh, <laughs> I know. It, it's so many times. I mean, That's I would insane. be a millionaire. Shayed, sh Shayed, Shed, uh, Shed. We've gotten Shed before, um, and it is misspelled. But we actually got that very spelling from a fantasy novel. Oh, is that so right? It's it's not like we just decided to flip it. We really love this fantasy novel, and a shade is a protective cloak woven by a goddess, which sounds so absolutely nerdy and lame. It sounds very rock to me, yeah. actually, to tell you the truth. <laughs> sounds very Stevie Nicks. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but that's how they spelled it and makes it so much better to search it, too, which is an added benefit. Well, I've thought of that with band names now because I think of, like, just for example, the band Train, let's say. Like, a train is so many other things. You just Google up Train, you're going to find a lot. You might not find the band unless you say band also. So I feel like that might have to go into the thought process now of naming a band. You can't oh, really yeah. just be the cars anymore. That's true. And, example. like, everything is taken now or trademarked. Like, yeah. uh, anything you can think of is, is usually a band name already. So we got lucky with Shade. Well, aside from the music being great and the song Trampoline, especially, which is like most people's entree into Shade, 
I will say the name too, as cheesy as this might sound, the first time I ever heard you guys, you were on my TV, and there's a channel that plays music on TV, and there's a little blurb about the band, and it says Shade, and then it says pronounced like Shade, and they had a little blurb about you, but it's always stuck with me ever since then. I'm like, oh, Shade, I remember them from my TV, and now, of course, you guys are so pretty much a household name, but That's that awesome. got in my brain and stuck there from the, from the very beginning. That's so awesome. it's working at least in that way. Definitely. Amazing. All right, well, tell us about your new song, Thunder, also, as a chopper goes really low over our heads. Thunder is a song that we actually we released a couple years ago, but um, it felt very appropriate to bring the song back uh, just from everything that's going on right now with Me Too and just this, this election that's about to happen. Like the, the song is very much about getting loud for what you believe in, and that was kind of the reason why we're bringing it back and trying to push it. So, so it's, it's really of the times. Feels like it's of the times. So. All right, cool. All right, well, thank you guys for coming. Thank I'm you so happy much for you're okay. Us. I'm happy you're all okay, but especially uh, after the heat situation. And uh, we're here at Lollapalooza 2019. This is Shade. You're not going to forget him on the mix. Thank you.